Hi everybody, Richard Tromans here again at Artificial Lawyer TV. Uh, today we're doing another product walkthrough. Uh, this time it's part of a series of product walkthroughs of uh, NLP driven document review tools to help us understand what eBrevia can do is Preeti. Hi Preeti. Hi Richard. Uh, just before we get in, if you just give us a bit of an introduction to yourself. Absolutely. Really happy to be here today. My name is Preeti Prakash. I'm the VP of Business Development at eBrevia. Um, and I'm actually a former practicing attorney. So, you know, a lot of experience really, you know, as a regular user of these types of tools prior to joining eBrevia on the business side. And really excited to be walking through our product today with you. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, I'm going to disappear now and I'm going to let you just give everyone a bit of a walkthrough of how it all works. And then I'll uh, hopefully have a bit of time to ask you a couple of questions at the end. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So for those of you that don't know, I just wanted to give you a high level introduction of what eBrevia is and what it does. We are a contract analytics and abstraction tool. And we have been around for about 10 years now, an entire decade almost. Um, and our tool was actually established in conjunction with Columbia University's Data Science Institute. Um, so so that, that's something that's really nice about the way that our product has evolved and the AI technology that we utilize today it, it really um, has had the greatest minds being worked on it uh, throughout time. And we were actually a portfolio company of Columbia University until the end of 2018 when we were acquired by Donnelly Financial, which is a public company. Um, and so since then, we've had the ability to really iterate on our product very quickly, introduce things that our customers are, are interested in and, um, you know, see being really facilitators for much larger scale reviews in our tool. And this feature that I'm about to show you today, Provision Compare, is one of those features. In fact, it has been the most requested feature over the past few years with our customers. And you know, the, the need became so great and we saw such value in this given kind of where our product was evolving that we introduced it into the tool and, and we think it, it does a really nice job for our customers in a broad variety of contexts. So happy to be talking about this today. Now you can see the eBrevia screen right here and um, our browser is, you know, it, eBrevia sits in the cloud. You can access it through any browser. And when you come into the tool, you have three different views. So you have a dashboard view, a list view, and a compare view. What we're seeing right now is the dashboard view. So this is a dynamic dashboard. You can see this dashboard view across any set or subset of documents. And it allows you to get a really high level overview of what's going on within that particular project or document set before you start to actually do your review of your documents. So things that you can see here, you have the ability to assign documents to users, you can track status of review, you can track the templates that have been applied to your documents because often we find that different documents require different sets of legal concepts in terms of what you're looking for across those documents. You can also tag your documents for organization and workflow purposes and you can identify those tags in this view. Now, probably the most important thing that you'll see in this dashboard is the top documents by field. This is often where our customers will start in terms of deciding what they'd like to dig deeper into, which documents they may need to do a double check of, given that the system has identified these clauses and places where it hasn't identified these clauses. So, and, uh, you know, a regular example of this, whether in the law firm context or the corporate context is an assignment clause. We know that that's something that's really frequently reviewed across documents of a variety of different types. So here we have this assignment bar and you can see the system shows me that 51 of my documents have an assignment clause and 24 don't. And so let's say I actually wanted to drill deeper into those assignment clauses. Now I'm looking at all 51 documents that have an assignment clause in them. Now taking that one step further, I can actually drill into a specific folder. So now I'm looking at just my employment agreements and these documents that all have assignment clauses in my employment agreement, in my, my employment agreement folder here. So with the provision compare, what you are able to do is actually compare all of those assignment clauses and see them directly in this interface without drilling into each individual document. So I'll just toggle over to my compare view. 
And now you'll see the system immediately prompts me asking for a specific provision to identify. And I'll come to my drop down list. I could type into the search bar right here, or I can simply select from my list and scroll. And I'll select assignment, which was right at the top over there. And immediately what I see is all of these assignment clauses pulled out of my documents in this particular folder. I can even expand the language to take a look at it a little bit more. And then I can take all of that one step further. So I can actually set one of these to be my standard. And now the system is going to run a comparison of that standard across the remainder of these assignment clauses. And this is really powerful for our customers because let's say, for example, that you are doing an assessment of your template document and you want to see how much this assignment clause gets revised across negotiations as you are executing documents, this will allow you to really quickly do an assessment and figure out, you know, are our attorneys sticking with our template? Are they deviating significantly from it? And do we need to do a deeper review of those clauses that have deviations that are dramatic? And our system actually gives you a score, a percentage score, so that you can determine right off the bat how significant those deviations are. And you'll notice, you know, it goes all the way from the low 30s in this view to my documents that have identical clauses and therefore 100% similarity. From here, let's say we want to do a deeper dive of those clauses that are problematic, where things have changed dramatically from the, st the standard, the norm, and that's really against our company policy. We, we need to fix that. We have the ability to then assign documents to individuals for further review. So I've selected these three documents that have you know, lower similarity scores for this clause, and I can go ahead and assign these documents to my colleague, Philip, for further review. And now you'll notice right here on the right, it indicates that the assignee is Philip. Philip, when he comes into eBrevia, will actually see these documents assigned to him under this My Files button. We also see this being really helpful in the context of reviewing various versions of a document. So let's say you are a junior associate or a mid-level associate and you're drafting contracts and you're drafting documents that have these clauses and you need to see how has this changed over a few versions of these documents? How has this been negotiated with opposing counsel? How are these things being changed? You know, can it be improved upon? Can the process be improved upon? Do we need to go back to what we originally put in? All of those things can be immediately determined in this view as well. So we see a number of applications for this provision compare feature, whether you are in-house, whether you're at a law firm, whether you're at an audit and consulting company. In fact, we've had a number of customers use this, particularly in the context of LIBOR review, looking at how LIBOR clauses are drafted, how fallback language is drafted. And um, you know, given that there, there's a bit of an urgency with that LIBOR review, um, with the rate essentially going away at the end of 2022, or you know, the reliance upon the rate. Um, we see a lot of interest in this, particularly in that use case, but many others as well. So again, once you've kind of done your review of these clauses in this view, you are then able to take this one step further and move this data out of eBrevia and into an Excel report. So that if for whatever reason you wanted to pass this report on to others um, in, in your organization or outside of it, you have that capability. It's not you know, subject to being within eBrevia and logging into the system. So we have this export button right at the top of the interface and I will select Excel full text. And I'll click export again. And what I'm going to see is an actual report in Excel showing me all of the clauses that I've told the system I'm interested in seeing, basically selected by the template that I applied to these documents. And then in addition, I will see a column for the actual provision compare. So you'll notice over here on the right, we have a column for assignment showing the actual comparison of that clause across my documents. 
subject to the standard, of course. And I also see those scores that Ibrevia assigned to these clauses. But in addition to that, I see all of the other clauses that I was interested in previously displayed for my review as well. So this is something that our customers are really loving about this feature, the fact that they can also take the data out of Ibrevia, move it into Excel, you know, do whatever they want to within Excel, right? Macros, um, right? Formulas, anything that Excel offers, and also pass these reports on to others. Obviously, this is using natural language processing. Uh, is it trained by the client, uh, by eBrevia, or do you suggest uh, a mix of the two? Yeah, great question. So this feature in itself is not does not require any training. It's simply pulling from all of the clauses that are readily available in eBrevia today. However, any of our customers can come into our tool and train the system for new provisions or clauses that they may be interested in. So that feature allows any of our customers to actually personalize eBrevia through training of the AI themselves. And then you can actually run comparisons in the same way for any of those self-trained clauses. So we give you kind of, we give you all of the tools you need to start using this as soon as you come into the system. But if you would like to take that additional step of really customizing and personalizing the tool to your company, your organization, you can absolutely do that. Okay, thank you. That's interesting. And just very last thing, if someone is uh, interested in uh, using eBrevia in this way. I mean, how, how do they do this? They, they just get a license, log on to eBrevia and off they go, or how, how does that work? Yeah, that's basically as easy as it is. Um, you know, for, we do offer a couple of installation options. So we have an on-premise installation of eBrevia for those who are concerned about uh, platforms in the cloud. And then we have a number of customers that use eBrevia in the cloud today. For our cloud customers, we can get you signed up um, the same day, <laughs> you know, once we have an agreement signed. In terms of onboarding our customers, it's extremely easy for us. It's a matter of simply creating accounts and then our clients can go ahead and start putting their documents in and doing their reviews. We also have integrations with a number of other tools. So moving documents into eBrevia is very easy to do and very simple. Um, but then of course, if you go with the on-premise installation, there's a couple of steps involved with an organization's technical team, but also pretty straightforward. And you know, once you have the system up and running on your own server, you can just start using it right away. It's it's really quite easy to do. Um, you know, one of the things that our customers really pride, uh, you know, provide us with significant feedback on is the user interface, the UI, and that's something we continue to improve upon. But it's something that we do hear quite frequently is how easy the tool is to learn. Gotcha. And the very last question, actually. Uh, in terms of how you charge to use this, is it like an annual license or do you do what some others do and charge for per document analyzed? So we have a few different options. You know, we we can do an annual license. We can do something more transactional. Um, you know, we we are open to working with our customers, but kind of traditional models that we have right off the bat are transactional and annual. Uh, and when you say transactional, you mean per document or by quantity per of project? Document? Yeah. So um, it would be kind of on a project by project basis. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, PC. It's really helpful. Yeah. And I uh, hope to speak to you soon. Thank you. Take care. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to be here.